Hello everyone. Welcome to PA Wealth. Read stock research updates on our blog. Link is given in the description box below. Subscribe our channel to get stock investing ideas and updates. Today in this video you will know fundamentals of a stock from the chemical industry that is at all limited. To get all the insights on this stock, watch till end. Also, if you have any queries or have any suggestions for us, write those in the comments section below. First know brief about the company Atul Limited. Atul Limited is one of the largest integrated chemical companies of India found by Kasturbhai Lalbhai in 1947. Atul Limited is in the business of manufacturing dyes and dye intermediates agrochemicals aromatic like para anise aldehyde epoxy resins and pharma intermediates. Although Atul Limited is owning nearly 140 brands through which it used to cater different categories of products such as for crop production, pharmaceuticals, aromatics and many more. Some of the key products are Apis, dye stuff, pigments, dye intermediates, resins, graying agents, etc. Let's discuss about the business portfolio. Atul Limited business classified into two major segments. 1. Life Science Chemicals and 2. Performance and Other Chemicals. Life Science Chemicals segment. Life Science Chemicals segment consists of three sub-segments namely, number 1. crop protection the products falling under these product groups are used by customers belonging to the agriculture and crop protection chemicals industries number 2 pharmaceuticals and aromatics one the products falling under these product groups are used by customers belonging to the pharmaceutical industry for various therapeutic categories such as antidepressant and diabetic anti infective anti fungal anti retroviral and cardiovascular performance and other chemicals segment Performance and other chemicals segment consist of four sub-segments namely aromatics bulk chemicals and intermediates colors and polymers. Number 1 Aromatics 2 the products falling under aromatics 2 are mainly used by customers belonging to the fragrance and personal care industries. Number 2 bulk chemicals and intermediates products falling under the bulk chemicals product groups are mainly used for internal consumption. While the products in the intermediate product groups are used by customers belonging to the cosmetic, dye stuff, pharmaceutical and tire industries. Number 3, colors under colors, the product groups comprise 587 products. The products are used by customers belonging to the diverse industries such as textile, leather, paper, plastic, paint and coatings and food. Number 4, polymers, the products under the polymers are used by customers belonging to the aerospace, automobile, composites, construction, defense, electrical and electronics, footwear, paint and coatings, paper, sport and leisure and wind energy industries. Now we will discuss the shareholding pattern of the company. As on March 2021, in company promoters are holding 44.94% of shareholding. Foreign portfolio investors that are FPIs are holding 9.98% of stakes and other institution are holding 4.56%. Further, mutual funds shareholding is consisting about to 17.64% and public are holding nearly 22.88%. Let's discuss about the executive members. Mr Sunil Lalbhai Mr Sunil Lalbhai is managing director since June 1984 and the chairman of the board of the company since August 2007. Moreover, Mr Sunil Lalbhai holds a postgraduate degree in chemistry from the University of Massachusetts and a postgraduate degree in economic policy and planning from Northeastern University. Mr Samveg Lalbhai. Mr Samveg Lalbhai is director of the company since January 2000 and managing director of the company since December 2000. Apart from that, he associates with various companies like Ahmedabad Textile Mills Association, Textile Industries Research Association, Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and many more. Mr. Lal Bhai holds a graduate degree in commerce from Gujarat University. Let's know the revenue of the company. In financial year 2022, out of the total revenue segment, most of its revenue comes from performance and other chemicals of about 70.13%. 28.45% comes from life science chemicals and 1.42% from others. Geographical wise revenue in FY21 sales from India comprised 54% and from outside India comprised 46%. Let's discuss the cost structure of the company. During the year, company has reported 47.05% expense on raw material cost. Power and fuel expenses stood at 8.29%, employee expense accounted 8.32%. Other manufacturing expenses accounted 9.74%, while miscellaneous expense at 2.87%. 
In FY21, the salaries and wages expense increased by 1% against previous year due to pandemic-related conditions. Now you will know the financial parameter of the company. Revenue grew at CAGR 8% per annum over FY12 to FY21. However, the PAD grew at CAGR 24% per annum from FY12 to FY21. Moreover, the company has almost debt-free since past 10 years. Over the years, PAT margin increased sharply and strongly. In FY21 company recorded 17.49% of PAT margin compared to 4.96% in FY12. During FY21, life science segment witnessed the growth in sales by 4%, while park segment witnessed the growth in sales by 12% on year-on-year basis mainly due to adverse impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Management key points. During FY21, Atul and Norian joined hand each another for the production of monochloroacetic acid, MCA. MCA is used as an essential raw material for a variety of products, such as adhesives, pharmaceuticals and crop protection chemical. The -the state-of-the-art integrated plant will produce both liquid as well as powder formulations. The automated packing and stacking system with zero manual intervention will increase the production efficiency. Recently company has expanded the manufacturing capacity of sulfur black from 9,800 tons per annum to 26,000 tons per annum. Strength and weaknesses. Strengths. Promoters experience in chemicals industry. Currently, Atul Limited is headed by third-generation entrepreneur Mr. Sunil Lalbhai, chairman and managing director, who is a technocrat and supported by a well-qualified and experienced senior management. The board of Atul has a very rich experience in the field of chemicals, petrochemicals, banking and finance, taxation, law, etc. Diversified product portfolio and wide user industries. Atul's operations are classified into two broad segments, performance and other chemicals and life science chemicals catering to diversified industries. Diversified clientele geography. Atul enjoys geographically diversified clientele with its presence through various marketing subsidiaries in Asia, Europe, North America, South America and Africa wherein it serves about 4,000 customers across 92 countries. Shift in product mix from commodity grade to R&D specialty chemical. Atul has expanded its product portfolio significantly over last few years in the areas of aromatics, crop protection, polymers and pharma intermediates which are specialty chemicals as compared to conventional dye stuff products. Weaknesses. Volatility in raw material prices. Majority of raw materials of the company are derivatives of crude oil. Hence, the prices of its raw materials vary with the fluctuation in international crude oil prices. For few products, where Atul has large market share, the increase in raw material price can be largely passed on to its customers although with some time lag. Fluctuations in foreign exchange rate, 46% of revenue accounts from exports which raise the question of fluctuation in foreign exchange market however, it enjoys benefit of partial natural hedge with imports of around 33% of its raw material requirement. Categorized under producing harmful products. From the list of 27 insecticides, Atul is engaged in the manufacturing and sales of 2,4-D herbicide which comprises around 50% of the total sales of its crop protection segment, that is around 310 crore rupees. That's it for today. Check out the complete details of the Atul Limited stock by visiting our blog. Link is given in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Hit like button, comment your queries and share it with other investors for their benefit. Subscribe our channel for latest stock research updates. Don't forget to press the bell 